All right, hello, my name is Valerie White Williams and I'm a voice teacher and a vocal coach for Vocal Splendor Studios. Today I'm doing another reaction and this time I am again reacting to Angelina Jordan and her official video of I Have Nothing, the Whitney Houston cover. People have been requesting it. And also, before I get started, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified of all of my uploads. All right, so let's have a listen. Okay, one, let's go. Today is up just right away I did do a reaction to the concert she did in Norway but now this is definitely more refined I love the black and white and what we're hearing already is that classic back phrasing and I have no you know you know off the beat Whitney didn't do that but this is Angelina's version and that is one of her characteristics she makes it her own with that kind of jazzy back phrasing Take my love, I'll never ask for too much And just all that you are and everything that you do I don't really need to look very much further I don't want to have to go where you don't I won't hold it back again This passion inside I can't run from myself There's no way to hide But don't make me collapse from my door I don't want to hurt anymore Stay in my arms if you're there Almost I imagine you there just before trying to pause Whew, this is really amazing this is almost like okay here I am I'm a full-fledged artist and she's making her own in the moment again bringing a little bit of that jazzy back phrasing using the breath on the voice it's really stunning you see the right through the heart of me you break down my walls with the strength of your love mm. Again, this passion aside, I can't run from myself. There's no way to hide your love. I remember forever, but don't make me collapse. One more love. I don't want to hurt anymore. Stay in my arms if you dare. I'm
All right, that was actually stunning. She has grown into a gorgeous woman, that dress, I love the black and white, gorgeous dress, classy. She's a classy lady. Yeah, I mean, yes, she's still young, but I think she's ready, don't we all? <laughs> We're waiting for her album, and I know this was pre-recorded, because that's how you make music videos. It's not a live video, you record it. Of course, there was those overdubs at the end, and then you, you kind of lip sync when you do that. Now, that's okay. That's what everybody does. Everybody does that on the videos. But that doesn't mean that she can't sing live because you know it. You see her singing live on all these other concert footage. She's an impeccable artist. And she got there by, well, some people just have an amazing talent. Now, one of my posters on the video that I did with the concert in Norway he realized that she is not seen in Whitney's key. And here's the deal. That's what you should do. You need to find keys that work for your voice because Whitney was more of a soprano. She was more of a powerhouse soprano. That's not Angelina's voice type. She's definitely a mezzo alto. Now that doesn't mean that she doesn't have really amazing range because she does but it just makes the voice more comfortable because a lot of people really don't understand that keys can make a huge difference when you want to sing a song. I've actually tried on keys. It's like trying on clothes and sometimes you'll try on that key and you think, oh, this doesn't work for me. This does not work for me. It's too high or it's too low. And then when you change the key, even just one step, or a whole step or a half step, then magically it fits. And that's something that a lot of instrumentalists don't quite understand because they can play in any key. You know, every key is fine. But with the voice, you have to find that sweet spot. And when it comes to picking keys, people often think, oh, it's here's your high note and how's the low note. And But this is a belt song. This is a song where you're getting those so you need to really be clear. It's not like you can't sing high, but if you're using that belt, some belt is gonna to be too high for somebody. Some belt is gonna to be too low for somebody. We wanna find that sweet spot. So to me, it's not about the high note and the low note, but what kind of quality is required on those notes. That's what it is. And then of course with riffing, when you riff and have these little extended notes, you also want those ones to be comfortable. You don't want to kind of bury it in the ground or get too whiny on top. So it's really a kind of, you have to try things on. Try what key is best for your voice because that's what it's about. It's not about singing the original key. I mean, it could be if you have a similar voice as that original artist, then that would work for you. But you can change keys. It's not the end of the world. In fact, that opens up the doors to sing a song that you love and you can kick it out of the part when you sing it in the right key and that, that goes for sing, girls singing guy songs and guys singing girl songs usually the voice doesn't work the same because I can sing really really high but you may not want to hear it it sounds like Minnie Mouse or you need to find where that sweet spot is to go into those low notes and get the fullness so I think she did great. And all the training that she's been doing, all the covers that she did in her middle school years, trained her to know what works for her. Try it on, find what works, and then kick it out of the park, which is exactly what she's doing. And I love her style. I think there's a siren, sorry, <laughs> going down my neighborhood. But she's also feeling that style of who she is and what kind of artist she wants to be. She's a great jazz artist, but she also does her own style with some of these like kind of beautiful covers. Some of this R&B works for her. And she always takes that husky, she's got that huskier voice. I've talked about she's got that full face. People that with full faces tend to have this richer, lower tones that they can go through. And it's natural. The thing about training 
it's not only about training the voice to, to do all the things, but the other part of voice training is really understanding what my voice is. Because we can't put our voice in every box. Our voice is going to be individualized based on our voice type and where our voice sounds best and where it in that range. So that's the other thing is figuring out what is my voice? What can my voice do? And what things maybe I can't do. So I don't really have a really awesome low range. I kind of bottom out pretty easy, but I do know my limits and that's what you're learning. In fact, actually, there's only so low that you can grow your low voice because the vocal cords, when they are low, the voice thickens. But it really depends on your vocal cords and how thick they are because you can't thicken it beyond a certain point. So it's very limited to grow your low notes regularly. However, the high notes, we're stretching it out. And so as you get better facility in your support, the breathing and energy, you can grow the high notes, but the low notes aren't as consistent for most people. So some days my students have really great low notes, some days they don't, but you really can't do much with them, except as singers grow older into their 30s, they often get better low notes. Now, my low notes were not great at all when I was in my teens and early 20s. I did not have very good low notes. I have better low notes because yes, I've been through my 30s. And so I have a bit more to offer there, which is really exciting for Angelina because as she goes into her 20s and 30s, the voice is gonna get even more rich and more full. And the thing about being a singer is that you can admire singers and wanna be like them, but it doesn't mean that you will be like them because your voice is unique. Your bone structure is unique. You need to actually figure out what your voice sounds like and feels like and get accustomed to it. Now, ironically, a lot of singers aren't comfortable with their voices when they hear it on recording and they kind of wish it was something else. But to be a really great singer, you have to like make peace. This is my voice. This is what my voice can really do. And you can take training to learn more skill sets like belting and singing jazz, but it's still your voice. Now an instrumentalist can say, hey, you know, I have a violin and it's my student level, so I'm gonna upgrade to a better violin. Yeah, well, we can't do that. We can't upgrade. We have what we have. We need to take what we have, understand it, train the voice to all the levels that we want to use it, but understand that we are limited to our biology, to our genetics. And we can build the voice, but it's really about the genetics. All right, so thank you so much for telling me about this video. And if you like Angelina Jordan, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified of all of my uploads. And I wanna let you know my two free passion projects. The first one is YouTube success strategies, and that's where I'm coaching people on how to be successful on YouTube. And the other one is called creative soul alignment, and that's for people that are creative and spiritual, which to be honest is all of us. We are all creating this world and our life with every decision we make. And we are all here to create a world that works for all of us. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna visualize that world and then we're gonna bring it to us. I hope you'll join me. All right, take care, bye.